Hey friends, hey family, mi gente, como estas? Bienvenidos. Hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, we are talking about Sephora VIB recommendations, and this is a special one because these are products that I've never talked about in my Sephora recommendations. I have been doing this for a while now, and so I am going to link in the iCard so you guys can check it out. But without further ado, let's get into the video. I didn't want to get all zhuzhed up because I'm not really talking about that today, but we are talking about hair products, we are talking about skincare, and we are also talking about base products in terms of complexion. Those are the these are the major things that I shop at Sephora for, especially since I am changing my whole mentality about purchasing in general. Y'all, I cannot remember the last time I have purchased a palette. So let's go and jump right into the hair care products. Okay, so this one is actually one that I use and I have it in my hair today. It's from Alterna. It's their Kendi Oil. I love this. It's their Strengthen Bamboo and I love this so much. Now, I can't use this. It does contain dimethicone, which is a silicone and it is used for its shine but it smells so good it bounces back and refreshes my curl so this is something if you don't mind having silicones in your hair y'all the even i've used it so much that even the top of it is gone but i love this so much it gives a nice sheen to the hair i can use it with my curly or my straight hair if you're looking for something that's lightweight, that gives a lot of shine, that's going to strengthen the hair at the same time, especially if you have fine thin hair that's brittle, then you will really like this. I, I like, love this so much and um, I recommend it. Obviously, if we're talking about Sephora, we are not saying price is an issue because Sephora has pricey items. So these are a couple of oils that I'm going to talk about that I really like from Sephora. So I already talked about the Kendi oil. The next one I'm going to talk about is the Verb Go oil now I have not had to purchase the whole entire um, I haven't had to purchase the large one because I had like a few of the small ones and so this has it's a moringa blend and it's a weightless hair oil I love this so much my girl Kiko Beauty talk about talked about this and then I was able to get this now this has a light scent but not much it's not harmful at all and a little bit goes a long way like this is something that you just rub through your hair it's weightless it's more serum -y than of course the candy oil the candy oil is very very lightweight this one is a little bit more weighty so if you wanted to use this after washing your hair while it's wet you can do this this is actually how I recommend using this or if you have completely dry hair you want to just take like maybe two drops of this rub it into your hands and go mid shaft down not from that's only if your hair is straight if it is curly you can take it all the way through and i really love this oil i think that it's worth the money and it is really nice Okay, another oil. This one is new to my collection of oils, but this is the Way Hair Oil. I really like this, and it has a high gloss, so if you need that high gloss, it does come in a pump. I did use this in a curly hair video, the Curly Hair 101 or Natural Hair 101 with Ipsy, where I partnered with them. I will link that down below if I can remember, but this is such a good oil. Now this one to me smells like jasmine and gardenia. If you are not a flowery person, I do not recommend this because this will linger in your hair. It makes your hair smell amazing. But if you do not, if you do not like those type of scents, you're not gonna like this. But it is, I would say, it is this would be the most lightweight. This one is actually in a pump as well, but it's it's a little bit heavier. And then the ghost oil, the verb ghost oil is the weightier one. So you can decide based on the viscosity of these, which one you want to get. But I really do like these three oils and wanted to share them with you. So this is the candy oil. This is the verb. And this is the weight oil. So of course, the verb oil is heavier in viscosity. And this is a little bit lighter. Okay, so let's move on to reparative leave-ins. These are items that I wanted to talk about that I use particularly for my straight hair. I do use these in my curly hair as well, but more so in my straight, especially since I am about to actually go straight and my hair, I'm gonna, I wanted to do something different, you know what I mean? So 
it is Easter weekend and so I wanted to do that. These two are the same thing. They're just packaged differently and it's the Briogeo Rizarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I really, really like this. These are silicone free. It's like that milky consistency. You get great conditioning. You just put spray it on the end. I love this because it has a good mister and I'm going to tell you, a good mist can determine if I buy or not buy a product. I'm just saying. But I really like it. It evenly distributes the product. It's super lightweight. But it has some great ingredients. This is one of those clean products. And Briojo is known for that. A new product that I have learned or love to like or like to love from Briojo is their Don't Despair Repair Leave-In Mask that stuff is awesome now it's a little bit heavier than this but it is amazing if you are not it's almost like dry shampoo but deep conditioning if you want your hair to last a little bit longer but it needs some moisturization and it's drying out you just spray a little bit of that on your ends or mid shaft down y'all and you're good to go so that one i actually ran out of and it's going to be in my empties videos which you will probably see coming up but i need to like rebuy that okay so these are just recommendations i'm not sure what i'm gonna buy yet i know i'm thinking about the co-wash from briogeo just because i want to do like an overall kind of like the things that i would purchase from briogeo comment down below if there's anything else from briogeo you think i should get okay so the final product that i want to talk about in terms of hair this is the same item is the caviar cc cream 10 in 1 complete leave-in hair perfector now i'm gonna tell you something caviar is made by alterna and this is kind of like their creme de la creme hello caviar and this is so good as you can tell you only need a little bit of it i got these in my 500 point perks and so i bought two boxes of it it came with the shampoo the conditioner and the leave-in the leave-in is a bomb it has 10 benefits to this product because it benefits with moisture, shine, smoothness, softness, UV protection, manageability, strength, anti-breakage, heat protection, and a light hold. Y'all, I really, really like this. If you want to wear your hair, if you have wavy hair, you would love this in your hair. If you want to wear your hair straight, you would just wash your hair and then go in with this leave-in. Use it sparingly because it is a cream consistency, but... I'm telling y'all, this is really good. If I had to rank and get one leave-in spray or some type of leave-in, this is like, it's a 10 times 20, okay? But um, the Rizarco is silicone-free. That's the reason why I wanted to mention it. And this one is just like, ugh, Alterna did it when they made this product. I love it. Okay, so let's move on to skincare. I have a few that I wanna talk about. And so, the first thing I want to talk about is our retinol. Y'all, I'm getting, I told y'all, it's shorty 40, and I will be turning 40 this year. So I have always pretty much in my, even in my 20s, I call myself taking care of my skin. Okay. But I definitely wanted to implement a retinol, and this is the A Passione Retinol Cream. I have not come with a full re review. I was just thinking about that. And it's been in a couple of videos on my channel. But this is so good. This has replaced my Luna Oil. It's more of a cream. And I really, really like this. A little bit goes a long way. The Luna Oil costs more. This costs a little bit less. I think 20 bucks less. But you get more product. You only need a pea size amount. And it has 1.0% retinol. And I love this so much. And this helps smooth and retexturize the skin and reboot it. So you have your, all of your, you know, all of the great things for fine lines and wrinkles. It's going to help with the texture of your skin. Drunk Elephant is the truth. I will tell y'all that. And I do have some Drunk Elephant reviews. So if you want to check out any of the, their other products, I definitely will link that down below as well. But this also is the Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense. Now, you only need a little bit of this. Now, what I have been doing, because you do get that cast with this, this is so good, though, that I will take this in addition to a more moisturizing type of moisturizer and use this or I will mix this in with a BB cream, but it is so good. And 
I just love how it absorbs and looks on the skin. Now, you at first, you do get the cast, so you do need to rub it in, but it is so good. You feel like the protection is there, and that's what I love, especially when using a retinol. You definitely want to go in the next day with an SPF. This one is a really, really good one, and what better way, you know? Buy from the family. This is, um, these two are really good. This is the Lancome Bifacial Face. This is their micellar water, and I love this so much. This takes off waterproof, and it's like, I don't know. It's something about the Garnier one that I don't like, but this one I really, really do like. I highly recommend it. I just take a cotton pad and just sweep it all over my face. I can hold it a couple of seconds over my mascara, and it is gone. I really like how it leaves my face feeling like hydrated and toned at the same time. I really do enjoy this. Is This is the Kula Sunless Tan Anti-Aging Face Serum. I like this because it is 70% organic and you can also tan with this and it has vitamin C. So this is like a daily serum. I will take this and I will mix it with this and my moisturizer and I am covered. I got my vitamin C. I got my SPF during the day. Um, this also has vitamin E and hyaluronic acid so i have all of my needs in this little bottle and it's tanning my skin at the same time so i really like this now when i say tanning my skin y'all it's going to maintain a tan or it will help you just stay nice and bronze but i love this because i feel like i have to go a shade lighter when it comes to a foundation if i constantly if i consistently use this i really don't have to do that so I love it for that reason. So let's get into the base products. The first one that I want to talk about is the Dior Backstage Face and Body. I really like this. I feel like it looks so beautiful on the skin. It's flawless. I love that it comes in an array of shades. And I did do a comparison between this and the MAC Face and Body. I highly recommend you guys check it out. It, there is a difference between this and the MAC Face and Body to me so I have it in the shade 4N and I really do love this I highly recommend it if you want something from light to a strong medium coverage I think that one would have you covered in terms of a full coverage foundation I am talking about things that I've never talked about in my recommendations as I've told you and this is the hourglass vanish stick foundation I have it in amber and in honey now honey is more of my winter shade but I can mix it with amber and it, I'm good I have this in a project pan on my second channel Missy Q memoirs and I am trying to hurry up and use this before it goes bad. When you have a lot of foundations, that's what happens. But let me tell y'all, this is highly pigmented. When you do a couple of swipes, you can get from sheer to a full coverage, depending on what, if you use a brush or a sponge. I love this with a sponge, a very, very, not a very damp, but a lightly damp sponge. This looks amazing. So I wanted to talk about that. Also in the base category, let's talk about this Smashbox Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer. So good. I have it in medium dark. I, that's what I have on my under my eyes today. I feel like that this is a perfect, if you are NC42, this is perfect for if you have any blemishes. You need a spot concealing type of concealer. This is good. This one is also good for staying all day. I really, really do enjoy this. You do have to work fast with it because it does dry pretty quick, but it is so blendable. I love this so much. I do love the Studio Skin Foundation as well. I Have I talked about that? I haven't done a review on that. I haven't done a review on this either. You'll probably see them together in a review because I do like reviewing base products, especially the foundations and their concealers so I highly recommend this one I want to talk about something in terms of the brows these this is something that I use almost every day that I can't live without now that I've used it and this is the benefit brow vo conditioning primer my girl CJ was like girl I told you about this this is so good I don't have to use as much of a brow product to fill in my brows when I use this it does something to the brows you make sure you do let this dry down because it's like a gel for your brows but y'all it flattens them i don't know what this stuff does but if you try this out i don't think that you would be disappointed at all they do have the smaller size i actually like the smaller size versus the large 
but this is $12. I think the larger one is $24. But I like this because it's travel friendly. I love this so much. And I feel like it's definitely worth the money. If you have issues with wild, unruly brows that you gotta, you know, some of them wanna stick up and everything, highly recommend this. If you wanna use less product, I'm telling y'all, this is so good. Final product is, y'all, this is the fail safe of if you wanna go glam, you have no idea what you're doing, and you all you wanna do is take your bronzer and brush it into the crease, and then you slap this on your lid. These are the Stila Glitter and Glow eyeshadows, liquid eyeshadows. This one is in Stormy Satin. I have so many of these. Let me show you. Y'all, look at this. I have so many. I have, this was like their holiday set. If you can get these in a set, if they come out with a set, I definitely, I highly recommend you guys going for that. I have Diamond Dust. I have Plum On. I have Kitten Karma. I have the large Kitten Karma. I do keep one of these in my makeup bag because, you know, if I want to go from day to night, I just slap this on the lid, y'all, and it is an easy no-brainer. This is Fail Safe Glam, I'm just saying. And I also have the glitter and what is this called? This is the Shimmering Glow. This one is in Vimid Labradorite. I think I said that. Labradorite, I think. And this is Kit and Carmen, the larger one. So I really do enjoy these. I feel like that they are definitely worth the money. I just wanted to come with some fail safe. These are like 100% I would buy over and over again from Sephora. Love them so much and I just wanted to share them with you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you're picking up from the sale and I will see you in the next video. Bye loveys.